a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. He'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Decent chunk of yardage still left here. Second and seven. Play clock's running down. They run it again with Hyde. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position. And we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away. And that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback and then no one plays well. And a great spot to start this drive from here. A first down carry by Elliott. And a short gain down to about the 33. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Here we go with second and seven. They go to Elliott again. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Complete to Jason Witten. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Dak fighting his tight end. Witten and the Cowboys have a first down. Right. 
And some extras coming up on the line here, readying for the blitz. Now Elliott. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line that'll go as a loss of five and all of a sudden here it's third down now Prescott Got a man, it's complete, Williams. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. and goal from the five. Now Elliott. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Now the defense definitely showing blitz here. They come out here in the eye. They'll try again with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, an update from there. The Broncos, they've got the early lead over the Chargers. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And he'll bang that one through. Bailey now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll bring up second down. In today's NFL, it might have surprised some people, but San Francisco was really, really hot to pick up Kyle Juszczyk from Baltimore, and they acquired him. Why? He can do everything. Block it? Yeah, of course he can. But he can catch the ball well out of the backfield, too. Led all fullbacks in receptions the last two years and played in his first Pro Bowl a season ago. So what will they do? On the ground, through the air, let's see. Second and nine. Second quarter now. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the 49ers in control of the football. They've got a second and nine to start things out. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. Go, go, go. 
They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. He'll let it go deep for Kirk. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Here's Prescott, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll make it second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. out of the season second of the game and the Cowboys will extend their lead now Bailey to tack on the extra point he missed one earlier remember but this time he gets it to go Kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. A reminder later tonight, a game some folks have had circled on their calendars since the schedule came out in April. That's the Super Bowl rematch. Falcons, Charles, at Foxborough to take on the Patriots. Super Bowl 51 and a half, anyone? <laughs> then on Monday night, that's no slouch either. An NFC East battle between the Redskins and the Eagles. Here's Hyde as they begin on the ground. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. Here's Tannehill now on second down. And he will go down. Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Third and long, it's Tannehill. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. An attempt at a deep ball there, and they didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. 
Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right yeah, now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. Here's Prescott. And look out. I think he's going to go. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. First and ten, Tannehill. They go screen pass to Hyde. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Tannehill off the bootleg. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Well, they've gone backwards so far in this series. Third and 13. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Now he's forced out right. He may try and run for this. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. First and 15 here behind the chains. Route. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They get the penalty yardage back, plus five more as they get it to second and five.
second down, high. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist, I'm probably thinking about throwing it. The Niners on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back here right after this. The Niners on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Again, it's high. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point, but no problems converting there. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. down a run with Hyde oh and now he bowls him over and he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage but that's all no gain on the play it'll be second down well, at least he was able to break that initial contact or it could have been a loss yeah give credit to the defensive player though what did he do made him slow down slow up his feet and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off It's Tannehill. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. That one goes for 36 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So now it's first and goal. They'll run high. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Second down, here's Tannehill. And they're going to get to him, a sack. 
sacked back at the nine-yard line. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. The offense on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and goal. Seconds of the first half. And the 49ers make some inroads here on that deficit. And the lead cut down to nine. Gold now out to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line a second quarter score from Carson the Chargers have taken the early lead over the Broncos and we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out and you see the clock almost empty so this is likely the last play in the second quarter Final play of the half, Prescott dancing to his left. Now he'll throw deep left side, and that is incomplete. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top as we send you cross country to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando with our halftime report. Here's Larry Ridley. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this you're is gonna a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. <laughs> we'll see if that script is a good one for them. They'll start by running the option to the right. He finds an opening past the 40. Look at the dance and the juke. A big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him. First down. First play of the drive. Excellent run. Just sets up wash, rinse, repeat. Another first down. Fresh set of downs here. has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? 
has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So here we go, first and 10 now. Time running out here on the play clock. A Tim Carey for Hyde. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Off play action, Tannehill. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, unable to hold on to the football the Niners on third down two for five to this point this is third and eight from the gun here's Tannehill oh it's a touchdown if he holds on instead it's fourth down but that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Start on the ground with Elliott. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Ten yards still left on second down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. So the offense has it first and 10. 
And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. First down, Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Only three there on the screen at second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Second down, Elliott. And an alley to run. Elliott a first down and more. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Elsewhere around the NFL, they're in the third quarter in Carson. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. And the lead is up to 14. now to kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they... punch it in for six points but they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board three and, points is three points and in this league <laughs> you take points when you can get them not easily done and no press coverage here they are backing off in the secondary they start the drive with high and that play went nowhere losing yardage it'll be back at the 36 that's gonna go as a loss of two and it'll be second down
And the offense will be looking to get at least some of this yardage back here. It's second and 12. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. And they're behind the sticks here a bit, now dealing with a second and 12. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. Deep ball for Goodwin. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know, all week long, he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry, things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. Elsewhere around the NFL, they're in the third quarter in Carson. Chargers have just scored, so they extend their lead. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Second down to the offense in search of six yards. productive. He's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Drops it underneath to Elliott. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Call it a one-yard gain of the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. There the 49ers getting set to trot out there.
They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And they'll send the slot in motion left. They'll run it now out of the gun. And some space here. It's a big run there by Hyde. 43 yards on the ground. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. They run again with Hyde on first. And brought down but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I think we saw some of the best qualities of Carlos Hyde on that run. Able to pick up something there, being physical, running the football. But I think he's got really good vision and great feet. He's going to be the key to this offense really being revitalized. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. To throw on second down is Tannehill. They're going over the middle here to Curley. Open space inside the 10. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Two important parts to that play. One, you get a first down, obviously. Charles, two, managed to get out of bounds. Love the way you dissected that, but he threw it in the middle of the field. So they picked up the first down, but he had to work his way to the sideline to stop the clock. What a great effort. So they're operating in the red zone. And here we go on first and goal. Now high. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. And that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They come out here in the eye. Now a man who sat out three seasons. This is Tim Hightower. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. Tannehill now to throw. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're gonna get a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages.
The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. That's going to set him back five yards. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Flushed out right. And no, it's incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. And out now come the Cowboys. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Williams and he'll take this one up to about the 23 it's a four yard pick up there and it leaves him with third and five The Cowboys on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Prescott from the gun. And a third down pass falls incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. On the NFL scoreboard, they are in the fourth now in Carson. Chargers continue to pull away. They have opened that lead up even further. If they hang on, that would up their win total to five on the season so far. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Let's go! 
They'll start by running the option to the right. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. And they're going to go soft on the corners. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. to throw again. Reynolds. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off Byron Jones. So the first interception of his career under center and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to. And I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment. But there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take an knee. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done.